Hey guys, I'm gonna do my first tutorial because I like to watch tutorials because I'm so bad at Roblox Studio and this is a tutorial. I'll make one thing I know. So if you don't know this, now you probably everyone who has Roblox Studio knows this though. Uh, if you don't know how to anchor stuff, like if you don't, if you try and walk into a wall and it falls over and you wanna fix that, and then you can watch this but if you already know and then you can um, you don't need to watch it because that's what this is about everyone in Roblox studio probably knows about this but whenever I was younger I didn't know about it so you get a part and you can make it whatever you want let's say I want a green block a big really big green screen I want a really big green screen. With a really big red circle on it. I'm not going to do this. I'm, I'm just saying what if I want it. And I've got to add the checkpoint, man. Or the spawn point. So if you don't know how to add a spawn point, and then here's another thing. This is actually a tutorial and another tutorial. Mm. But uh, you don't need to add this. I'll actually delete it. If you go in model and click spawn, there's a checkpoint. And there's two ways you can do it. There's, you can go in this. You can make the, you can click on transparency and make it one. And then delete the decal. But uh, my way I do it is just make, uh, make a checkpoint and then and flip it over. That's how I do it. So let's say uh, I play the game now. I play the game now, and there's the screen, the big green screen. But if I walk into it, hang on. I've got to make them like. If I want to make like a bunch of rainbow walls, I'll make this one red and then duplicate this. <laughs> bunch of Christmas walls, but if I play it, if I play it and then I can knock the walls over sometimes. I think it's because the wall is too thick. Hang on, let me try this. Is this? No, it's not. So if you do this, like if you make a wall that you want to do, like if you want to make a wall, but then whenever you go in the game and you run into the wall, it, it like you can move it and trip it over. If you want to make it where it stops doing that, and then I'm going to duplicate this and make this one uh, dark green. So there's two ways you can do this. One, uh, right by color up here, there's group, lock, and anchor. You want to click anchor. But there's also another way. If you uh, if you have properties opened up. Wait, did I just anchor this? No, I didn't. And you can do that. And it's anchored. So now if you walk into it, it won't knock over. It won't fall over. And... Uh, you can also scroll down if you have properties you can scroll down and click anchored and make that checked so now if I play the game and then the red one you can knock over but the green one if I try super mega hard to try and knock the green one over it won't knock over so that's how you make a block that won't knock over and this is also how you make a rolling ball. You don't anchor it, because if you anchor, like, let me say pink. I want to make a pink ball, but I anchor the ball. Now, if I play, and I want to make a rolly, a ball that you can roll, the green ball will be able to roll, but you cannot roll the pink ball because it's in place. So if you want to make a rolling ball, you don't anchor it. 
and then there you go that's if you didn't know how to like make stuff not fall apart now you do bye bye